we have changed all the input as well as the button fields by using jquery selector now what we are going to do we are going to check these values by using waveform filling actions now let's go to the actions over here and then i'm going for the browser automation because of i'm going to work with waveform filling actions right let me expand this browser automation and there you can see as a first step i'm going to launch new chrome for automating websites or web applications let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace now for launch new chrome i'm going to give the parameters over here that is launch mode i'm going to give it as launch new instance and the initial url i'm going to give it as www.rpachallenge.com and then the window state i'm going to give it as normal or we can give it in the maximize mode because of anyhow the position is changing and we are capturing the ui elements based on the the input content or input value that we are going to recognize it all right now i'm going to advance load here and then i'm going to enable wait for page load that you should be enabled and then i'm going to click on save now as a best practice once you have launched a new chrome then immediately use close web browser to close the browser let's select the close web browser action onto the workspace and then i am selecting the parameter web browser instance that is browser instance which we have used at the time of launch new chrome and then i am going to click on save now if you go back to the website i want to fill the data into the particular input fields such as first name last name company role in company email id phone number and address right and finally i want to press the button of submit right how can i go ahead and do that by using power automate desktop there i am going to use populate text field on web page by using web form filling actions let me expand the web form filling actions there you can see i am having populate text field on web page which it will do it will enter the data into the particular input fields right let me drag and drop this action in between the launch new chrome and close web browser actions now over here if you see the parameters for populate text field on web page first parameter is web browser instance for which web browser that i'm going to use it that is the first one is launch new chrome what is the output of that is browser and then to populate the data i'm going to use the ui element this populate text field i'm going to use it for the first name in that case i'm going to select from the web pages that is the input first name i'm going to select it let me drop down this ui element and then you can see over here i'm having the all the ui elements now i'm going to select input first name and then over here as a text i am going to give it as my name right now i am not giving uh, dynamically for the time being i am going to give it as static i am going to give my first name as amir and then i am going to click on save and in the same way what i am going to do i am going to make it for last name company name role in company input address email phone number for all these uh, input fields i am going to use populate text field on web page right let me copy this and then paste it in the same window for the last name i am going to select the ui element as last name input underscore last name and then i am going to give it as basha all right let me click on save all right i have used populate text field on web page for all the inputs such as first name last name company name roll number address email and phone number and along with that i have modified the respective data i am going to give it as a text as first name for amir last name basha company name learning technologies role in company it analyst input address bangalore email id basha@amir86 at rate of live.com phone number i have given 9999 once the all the data has been filled in the particular form fields now finally i have to press the button so over here in our form filling action that is for the web form filling i'm having one action called press button on web page to press the submit button i'm going to use this action press button on web page let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace before close web browser and over here if you see the parameters what is the web browser instance 
that I'm going to use the browser and the UI element I'm going to select button underscore submit is the UI element for the button submission right let me drop down that and then I'm going to select the UI element as button underscore submit for the press button on web page action and then if you see the advanced parameters only one option that I have enabled that is wait for page to load it has to wait until the page has to load all right let me click on save now our flow is partially ready to see the output for the dynamically changing web pages by using dynamic UI elements which is a part of jQuery selectors all right let's run the flow to see the output by clicking on run flow execution started and it is trying to launch a new Google Chrome by using launch new Chrome action that is www.rphallenge.com once the page has loaded successfully it will try to insert our form or inserting the form in such a way there you can see the first name as Amir last name as Basha company name as learning technologies role in company IT analyst address Bengaluru email ID basha.amir86 at the rate of live.com and then finally it will press submit button now the flow has executed successfully it will close the browser all right now we have seen how to add the ui elements dynamically by using jquery selector and also we have seen how to fill web form by using dynamic ui elements 